Are you guys ready? Are you excited? A new area opened today and I'm so excited because I can actually go check it out. What? I am so excited because South Hoof Peninsula has opened and you only need to be level seven to get there. Oh, so we can go. Yes. <laughs> I totally did not get excited about this area because I figured eh, it's probably after Epona or something and it'll be a little while before we can go. No, we can go right now, right here. Our text message has popped up from James that starts the quest line. So let's get started. Of course, there is a big crowd at James because everyone is working on the quest. Disaster! Get here quick! Why are you still reading? Emergency! Hurry! Alright, well, we're already here, so... Here it is. Come quickly, extremely important! Why did it take you so long to get here? It's all falling apart! Or at least, it's the beginning of the end for my business, and you just waltz in slower than a sloth! No tips for you, Nova! Oh no... Hey. Nightmare Nova, you've got to help me. What's happened, you ask? The lighthouse on the South Hiff Peninsula has gone out. It's a complete disaster. No tourist ships dare to come close to Fort Pinta if the lighthouse isn't there to guide them. And if there are no tourists, then I don't make any money. This is so dreadful for me. If I shouldn't just call the lighthouse keeper and ask what's going on. Do you think I'm stupid? Of course I've done that already. I've called loads of times, but there's no answer. Something must have happened. You'll help me though, right, Nova? You will? Sweet. I've had an idea. A while back, I bought a pair of really nice, cozy little boats that I thought about hiring out to the tourists. For some reason, though, nobody's ever hired them out, which I think is weird because going out on a boat is super fun. So I've been told. But anyway, you can borrow one so you can sail over to South Hoof. What do you think, Nova? Why I don't just go myself? Oh, I'm allergic to water. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it. So unfortunately, I can't go. The boat is down there between the pier and the beach. Good luck! Thanks, James. I don't think you're actually allergic to water, though. Here we are at the pier. Near this awesome boat. Can we get to it this way? We can. Inspecting. It looks a little flooded. A little flooded. Alright, James. We looked at this boat. It looks pretty flooded, my friend. Okay. Have you already been to South Hoof? You haven't? The boat was broken, you say? That's ridiculous! I paid 10 Eurovic shillings each for those boats. Maybe there's a hole or two in the bottom, but they're just there to keep you cool while you're out of the water, on the water. Like air conditioning in a car. <laughs> Why do you look so suspicious, Nova? Okay, okay, the boat might not be in top condition, but I have another. I rented it out to the guard at the disco so he could practice landing maneuvers at the beach or something. You can go and ask him if you could borrow that one instead. Sure, we can do that. Attention! Nova, how can I be of assistance to you on this day? What on earth? You want to borrow a boat from me? Aha, you mean the landing craft I borrowed in order to rehearse crucial beach storming maneuvers? Operation Iron Cockroach, as I call it. Grr, there's not much boat to borrow, unfortunately. My beach landing rehearsals became a little too realistic, even for me. No time to waste, though. I realize you're on an important mission, Nova, so I hereby submit my report of Operation Iron Cockroach. The time was 4.07 yesterday morning, as I was out at sea off Fort Pinta, carefully and silently approaching the beach. Just next to the diving board, I saw a guard post. The element of surprise was lost and my position uncovered. So I went full speed ahead to get to the shore and the enemy had a chance to react. Suddenly, I heard a huge explosion. A mine, I thought, so I threw myself straight into the water. I then realized that the fuel tank on the landing craft had exploded. So I swam to land and retreated to the fort. The enemy guard revealed himself in better light to actually be in a particularly suspicious looking bush. So, no actual danger was present, and I gave myself the order to stop the exercise. How it went with the boat? Oh, I've got no idea. I haven't had a chance to run recon over the terrain yet, since I've got light bulbs to change and the disco ball to polish first. Hmm. During my retreat, I saw Elin running towards me. She's the lifeguard down on the beach below Fort Pinta. Suppose you could ask her if she saw what happened to the boat? We could do that. 
Lifeguard, huh? Alright, where is she? Where is this lifeguard? Did I miss her? Oh! Is she out on the... She is. So, let's leave our horse here. Wait here, honey clover! So we do not crowd the, the bridge. Lovely day, wouldn't you say? Hi, my name's Elin and I'm a lifeguard here on the beach. What's your name? The guard's accident? I knew it was him sneaking away through the bushes. He looked pretty baffled. If I saw what happened to his boat? Yeah, I ran here when I heard the explosion, so I didn't see the actual accident, but whatever ends up in the water here usually drifts ashore along the foreland, which crops out over past the bathing area. If his boat didn't sink, I'm pretty sure to have en it, it would have ended up there. If you find the boat, you could come and let me know, since I need to be sure it won't be dangerous for the people who come swimming here. Alright, so now we're looking for his ship that has washed up <laughs> along the shore. Oh, I see it. Okay, excellent. Here it is. <laughs> it doesn't look like we'll be using that one <laughs> to get to the new area either. Did you find the boat? Bits of it, you say? Hmm. Why are you so interested in a wonky old boat like that anyway? Oh, you need a boat to get to South Hoof? And James's other boats are in pretty much the same shape? Hmm. Maybe there's a chance you can repair the boat with the parts you find here? Worth a try, right? It's pretty quiet here right now, so I can help you if you'd like. Ooh, thanks. It She's wearing socks with her sandals. <laughs> Isn't that a no-no? <laughs> If the other boat is also broken, you probably need to fix that as well. Maybe there's some stuff from the wreck you can use for that. I'll go and take a look at your boat while you look for parts here on the beach that you can use. What do you say? Nice. Have a look along the little peninsula where you found the wreck. Everything that sunk was probably washed ashore there. See you in a little while by the pier where your boat is. Okay. One of five. Got it. Ooh, this one came way far up. Four or five. All right, one more. Oh, there it is up there. We got it. So I decided to stay off my horse for this because the areas that we're working in are very crowded right now. And sometimes it's easier if everyone gets off their horse so they're not all standing on the quest giver or standing in this small area that lots of people need to get to. Okay, so she's back over here now. <laughs> I was wondering where she was. All I saw was a crowd of people and I didn't see the lifeguard. Like, no, where's the lifeguard? Hi again. Looks like you found loads of useful stuff. We'll definitely be able to make use of this. Hey, no, well, Nova, I don't see there being any problems with sealing the hull of your boat with the parts we have here. We just need to get hold of some kind of glue or sealant to hold it all together. The engine, on the other hand, is a different story. <laughs> You'll need to find the Rex engine if you're going to have any chance of fixing it. You didn't see an engine on shore, you say. I guess it sank when the fuel tank exploded on the guard's boat. It's probably on the seabed out by the diving board at the bathing spot. Have a look there and see if you can salvage it. Here's the anchor from the boat. Perhaps you can use it as a kind of fishing hook to fish up the engine. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be difficult. <laughs> use the rope to fish out the engine. Come back once you've found it and I'll see if I can find a way to use these parts you found in the meantime. We're fishing. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> not a bite. Well, that's good, because we're not looking for fish. We're looking for an engine. <laughs> that was not a good sound. Okay. Anything? Maybe? <gasps> yes, we did it. You reel in the boat engine. Hooray! All right, Elin. We got the engine! Nice work! Now we'll have enough spare parts and then some. I reckon I should be able to get the engine going for you, Nova. I was a mechanic at the Yorvik City scrapyard before I became a lifeguard here. I hardly ever saw the sunshine at that scrapyard, so changing career was pretty much the best decision I ever made. Anyway, I saw a barrel of sealant further down the pier. That should do the trick for sealing up the hull. It should have been delivered to my friend Donald the Builder in Jarlheim, but it's sitting here. It's been sitting here for weeks now, so I guess the ferry captain must have forgotten about it. Would you ride over and get it? 
I'll text Donald now and ask him if it's okay if we use it. He'll say yes, so ride over and grab it now. Dip interrupted. Well, well, I'm sure we'll get some speed out of this engine eventually. I've got some tools so you can borrow, but maybe you could do me a favor in return? We're good at doing favors. <laughs> Yesterday night, I took a quick little dip down by the pier on the other side of Fort Pinta. It was pretty late, around the same time the guard was out on his little adventure in the boat. When I heard the explosion, I ran out of there. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing and got to the beach as quick as I could. I ended up leaving more than just my shoes. All oh, my clothes are still over there. Do you think you could grab them for me? Thanks, Nova. Of course. Aha. There's the sealant. Are these her clothes? It looks like a barrel. Oh, we're looking for her clothes. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got one. Maybe it was sitting on the barrel. <laughs> Here are your clothes, madam. <laughs> we found them. Oh, thanks, Nova. They're my favorite clothes, so I was a bit worried they might have gone missing. Exactly, that's the barrel I was talking about. Oh, speak of the devil, a text from Donald. He writes that we should just take as much sealant as we need and that if there's something there's never a shortage of, it's sealant. Sounds good, Nova. Donald usually knows what he's talking about. He knows more. Here are my tools, Nova. I haven't really used them in the time since I left the scrapyard in Yorvik City, but they're still in good condition, as I'm sure you'll notice. You know how to repair an engine, right? <laughs> of course. Sorry I even asked. Good luck and let me know if you need anything. Hold on! <laughs> I don't know how to repair an engine. <laughs> now you just need to use the sealant to seal the hull of the boat with the parts from the wreck you found earlier. You shouldn't have any problems making it watertight. Oh wait, here, just ask if you need anything. I mean, I will try. <laughs> use item sealant, okay. Is it working? Ooh! It did work! That's awesome! Now we'll use tools. Nice! Oh, it looks great! Does that mean we can go to South Huff Peninsula now? He knows ma. You're not a bad mechanic. You could get a job at the scrapyard if you wanted. Oh, I'm good, thanks. The engine looks like it was delivered straight from the factory. Well, at least I know I have a backup career if horses doesn't work out. <laughs> Great, that hull isn't gonna let a drop of water into it now. He knows ma. There we go, Nova. Now your boat is as good as new. All you need now is to fill the tank with fuel so you can sail away. Fuel? You didn't get any fuel from James? <laughs> well, without fuel, you won't be getting very far. Probably best you ride to him and ask him for some. I need to get back to lifeguarding the beach now, but it was really nice to meet you. Nice to be able to use my old skills again as well. That doesn't happen much anymore. <laughs> Good luck over at South Hoof. See you around. Oh, we're so close. Okay. Ask James for boat fuel. James, we're in need of some fuel there, buddy. <laughs> hey, Nova, have you already been over to South Hoof? You need fuel for the boat, you say? Hmm, fuel is so expensive. Are you sure it's necessary? Can't you row? <laughs> James, always trying to save a buck. Okay, okay, I get it. If the lighthouse doesn't light back up again, it'll be a disaster for my business. I don't have so much in the way of cash flow right now, Nova, so maybe you've got a good idea of where you could get some cheap fuel. Steve? He's got a huge fuel tank, you say? Do you think you could get some from him? Great idea, Nova. They, that way, it'll be free. Hey, I said we could get some from him. I didn't say he would give us free fuel. Quick, ride over to Steve and get some fuel. No time to waste. All right, here we are at Steve's. It's a little less crowded over here right now. Mm. Hello to you, Nova. Fuel? Well, of course, I'm sure we can arrange something. No, oh, he's gonna make me do chores for the fuel, isn't he? Mm. You need some fuel, you say? Well, I'm sure I could spare some for you, after all. What wouldn't you do for a good friend, huh? I actually need to fuel up some of my machines, too. So, do you know what? Take these two empty fuel cans, Nova, fill them both up, so you can keep one. Does that sound okay? Good, see you soon. 
Well, that wasn't too difficult. I thought he would give us this long list of chores we needed to do in order <laughs> to get fuel. No, Steve's a good guy. Good guy, that Steve. Oh, one more. Excellent. Here you are, our good friend. Mm -hmm. Two cans of fuel, one for me, one for you. Mm. It was a delight to see you again, young Nova. Here's your can of fuel filled to the brim with top-notch propellant. Good luck and say hello to James for me. I guess we will. We will. James, we have your mm -hmm. fuel. Hey, Nova, did you get some fuel from Steve? A whole can? For free? Oh, that Steve's got no idea how to do business, but you don't hear me complaining. He knows how to have friends, James. <laughs> What are you waiting for, Nova? Ride down to the boat, fill her up with fuel, and set sail to South Hoof. Hurry, because without tourists, Fort Pinta is going to go under. Or, well, at least my business as well. See ya. Oh, let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. Yay! All right, here we go. Here's the fuel for the boat. Oh, I'm so excited. The fuel tank on the boat's engine is now full to the brim with fuel. It's finally time to cast off. I know, let's go, let's go. <gasps> Where would you like to go? South Hoof Ferry Landing. Oh, look at the new graphic. That horse is so excited. <laughs> That's so cool. <gasps> Here we are. We're in South Hoof. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> A path heads upwards. Maybe there will be someone further along it. <gasps> This is so cool. Oh, look, there's Fort Pinta right over there. Hey, Fort Pinta. Oh, wow, look at the rocks. It looks like we're in the desert. Where are we? South Hoof Beach, thanks. Oh, there's some toxic chemicals there. All right, we're heading up this path. It's so pretty. I love these flowers. They're so cool. Oh, look at this area. Wait, 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 wait. We need to go over here and check it out. <gasps> this is so cool. Awesome. I'm going to be taking so many pictures today. Did you guys take a lot of pictures? Because I know I am. All right, where are we going? Where is this new place? South Hoof Farm. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, it's adorable. Uh, adorable. Let's look around here a little bit. Windmills, painted rocks, lovely houses, and so much space. There's so many open fields. I know a lot of you guys are gonna love running around in these open fields. There's gonna be wild horses at some point. I think further along in the quest line. And that means plenty of room to add stuff too. I don't know if they're gonna add stuff, but there's room to do it. What do we have here? A non-existent, oh, what happened? I clicked it too fast. There must be someone around here you can ask about what might have happened at the lighthouse. You decide to look around the garden. All right. I skipped through the first part too fast. I'm sorry. I was too excited. <laughs> There's so many flowers. I love it. Oh, I see sparkles. Let's go hit them. Oh, it's this person. All right, I'm gonna hop down and run up to them instead. Hey, Holly! Oh wow, you scared the life out of me. <laughs> Hello there. By the way, who are you? Nova, nice to meet you. My name's Holly. Just got back from a surf session on the other side of South Hoof. This time of year, I don't think you'd be able to find better waves anywhere in the world. Hey, by the way, have you seen Eric, my husband? You haven't. Madison, she's my daughter. You haven't seen her either? You haven't seen another living soul at all? Very strange. They must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look around the garden together. I'm sure we'll find someone. Okay. 
All right, we're looking for, I thought she was gonna come with. She said together. She's just gonna let me go all by myself. Oh, that was a very distressing noise. Here's a spot next to the outhouse. <laughs> Is that the outhouse? <laughs> oh, and nobody there either. <laughs> oh dear. We didn't, we didn't find anyone. You couldn't find anyone either? Weird, now I'm starting to worry. Uh-oh. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. It was so much fun unlocking South of Peninsula. We have so many more quests to do here, but we need to pause for today and we'll find out what's the deal with all these missing people. More missing people! Everyone is always missing in this game. It's so worrisome. It's so, are all these people being kidnapped? What is going on? Hopefully we'll find out next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. So recently I asked you guys which areas you'd like to see, you know, get a revamp in Star Stable because I recently redid the Silverglade Equestrian Center. Magnus would like to see Fir Grove made over and I kind of have to agree. I love Fir Grove. It's such an awesome area and I think it would look really cool with a revamp. I'm totally for it. Summer Breeze and Felicity should get a revamp. <laughs> Also, in a quest recently uh, with Tin Can, going to get Tin Can, there was a character named Bruce or something like that that I could not pronounce. And Meet the Pug told us that actually in Norway, Bruce is a term for soda. So I had to look it up. And there is, at Christmas time, there's like a special soda called Yule, Yule Bruce. Something like that. I, I'm probably not saying it right. <laughs> but I thought that was really cool how different names and words can mean different things in different places. So thank you for that fun tidbit, Meet the Pug. Me and the Pug. I said Meet the Pug. It's me and the Pug. <laughs> Who's commented on videos before. So I love seeing you guys comment regularly and kind of get, it's fun to get to know you guys through comments and stuff. So I always appreciate that. Let me know what you're up to and obviously tell me what you think of South of Peninsula. I'm loving it so far. There's surfboards and flowers and it looks like the desert, at least here in the desert, we have the big uh, painted rocks and stuff. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I feel like we've barely started and the next episode we'll get some more into it. Find out where Madison is. And that lady's husband, Holly's husband. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to Star Stable for more awesome things like the Star Stable show. <laughs> there was a chubby bunny mushroom, mar marshmallow challenge, mushroom challenge. Oh my God, could you imagine? A marshmallow challenge in the last episode. I laughed so much. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Have fun in South Hood.